Okay, today's video, sliding old Whitco forest lock. And this one is crusty. Look at that crust. That looks yucky. Okay, so we're going to make a key. We're just going to impression it up. First of all, you can see the keyway is slightly different from the C4. The C4 should work. Yep, C4 works. It's got an unusual kind of shape there, the, the normal one. So if you can see the key, that's the key we're using. That seems to fit in there quite nicely. So this one has all the pins. This side only has a couple of the pins. And look at the mess. And I don't know if that what ant shit or something it's putting on my bench. Anyway, let's get into it. So I'm just going to quickly rattle up a key for it. Oop, there it is, yuck. Maybe I should buff it or something. Oh well. Guess I'll just man up and pull it apart. Ugh, crusty shell and who knows what's going on on this thing. So I'm just pushing off the circlip. Pushing off the circlip. Gonna wash my hands after this one. Not always are they clean and nice and pleasure to work on. Yeah, I don't like uh, I don't like changing locks at brothels. That's my worst because you know that everybody touches that handle after they've been doing nasty stuff. All right, so there's my lock. Sir clips off. Let's pick it open. Tension tool. My I'm a lazy locksmith tool. Here we go. Hey, it hasn't. I mean that hasn't worked in years, and it just quickly done. Here we go. So I could use the could use the key machines on this, but I'm pretty much just going to just do it the old-fashioned way, using the impression file, which is this one here, and we're just going to quickly rattle it up. Um, so I'll put my pin out, give it a little mark. I'll use a cradle. So I'm going to do the outside because the outside has all the pins. That way it's going to work on both sides. And do I give myself a mark? Yep, I got myself a little tiny mark right there. I might actually go for a better one. This is only going to allow me right there just to find the center. So make sure I'm on my mark. So I've given it a quick a quick scribe there and then I look down the barrel there to see that my mark is actually on track that's a little bit off so I'm going to move it a little bit okay now we're on track now we're on track now this pin here what I'm looking at it's probably about a five or something yeah probably about a five so we'll just knock that down Almost there. Yep, one more rub with the file. Now because we've got our first spacing, um, it's pretty easy to get our next spacing. What I like to do is just use my, my screwdriver like this, and then I can roughly gauge where the next one's gonna be. which is quite straightforward. So we'll move over to here. Putting it back in the lock. Okay, so we've got about three cuts to go down. The more we push, the wider it gets. Okay, two more. Two more rubs and I think we'll be there. Making also that our grooves are nice and easy for the pins to ride in and out. So the first two are done now. Moving along. Okay. So that's position of my third one. And I only got to go down about two more cuts on that okay. 
Oh, one more quick rub. So the impressioning file makes it nice and easy. Rattle up a quick key by hand. So we've got about three cuts to go on that one. There is the other option too, I mean you can start using clippers, these are more for automotive, but I mean I can use them if I like those nice uh, square V-shaped cuts, as you can see that there, difference in the cuts, still needs a little bit more. Always checking backwards and forwards, and if you can see that, even the first one, I'll I'll give it one more little 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 tiny rub. The wider you go down here, the wider the the wave kind of gets. Okay, so I'm happy with all of that except for the last one. So I'm just going to. Uh, Use a flat blader on the last one. Also, if you can see this, uh, see this? This is bad. You want it to be nice wavy so the pin can get off. It's a little bit too vertical and sharp at the moment, so I'm just gonna in nice and easy. Okay, still needs a bit more. Keep sliding off the ramp so I just use the flat. A little bit more, another two cuts. Files getting a bit full of brass as you can hear. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now there is a bit of movement in the plug, so if you push it all the way down, these pins come up and these ones go low. If you sit it in there normally, it's nice and nice and flat. Now the moment of truth, yes, works beautifully. Saves me having to pull this apart. Anyone who's pulled this apart knows you've got all these little parts in there slide up and down. Old grease, yuck. So even though this one was full of ant ant um, ant poop, it's still a preferred option. So I'm going to put it back in there now, test it. Beautiful. Works absolutely beautiful. A little bit of pack up. So that's in uh, making a key with an impression file. Nice and easy. Now we uh, put it back together. Tail piece back on. Should just slide in there with a squeeze for good luck, just in case we don't want it coming off at any stage. The outside's probably never going to be used. Doesn't look like it's ever been used, but just making sure our tail piece is tight. And that looks pretty good. All right, now we put it back in. Put the cylinder up the right way and we are good to go we'll duplicate one more key one more key we'll uh, do that on the key machine we'll duplicate that and that's the end result checking all our ramps here so the key the pins can go sliding this way well they can slide this way well a little bit of a ridge there i might just quickly take off a little bit there as well but all in all that's a quick uh, key impressioned up don't need a key machine just using a hand file Thanks for watching.